Mel B looked effortlessly stylish in a black jumpsuit at the premiere of Cirque du Soleil Lucia at the Royal Albert Hall in London on Thursday. The singer, 46, was joined by her look-alike daughter Phoenix Brown, 22, who showcased her tone midriff in a black crop top. The pair posed up a storm on the red carpet before making their way into the star-studded premiere. Mel cinched the waist of her jumpsuit with a leopard print belt and donned a matching handbag. She completed her outfit with heeled leather boots and her glam makeup enhanced her pretty features. Phoenix used confidence in high-waisted trousers and a long-line trench coat as she posed alongside her famous mother. She opted for comfort and paired her ensemble with black and white converse trainers. The social media influencer is the daughter of Mel and choreographer ex-husband Gimmy Golzar. Jump to it like Mel B in a Ma Ye all-in-one 379-pounds Ma Ye flowing crepe jumpsuit now reduced to 227 pounds. 40. By now can you believe that Mel B's daughter Phoenix is 22? They attended the premiere of Cirque du Soleil Lucia at the Royal Albert Hall in London on Thursday, wearing matching all-black ensembles. But it was Mel's jumpsuit that particularly caught our attention. Check out the metal horse bit detailing on the pockets, as well as the smart collar. It's the perfect alternative to a little black dress, and naturally Scary Spice has added leopard print accessories to make it pop. Click through to buy it now while it's reduced in the sale. Or if your wardrobe is missing a classic black jumpsuit, we've lined up four more options for you to choose from. This Zara sale bargain is not to be missed. Mail Online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it previous next £38 Asus Design Zip Front Jumpsuit by now £29. 99 Zara Zip Jumpsuit, now reduced to £9. 99, by now £169 Massimo Duty Jumpsuit, now reduced to £79. 95, by now £299 Diane von Furstenberg Jumpsuit at the Outnet by now it comes after Mel recently spoke of her pride at shining a light on the taboo tropic of domestic abuse after being awarded an MBE for services to charitable causes and vulnerable women. In an interview on Steph's packed lunch on last week, the star described being awarded the honor as still a little bit shocking and very overwhelming. She explained that she is standing up for what she believes in and tearfully told how her late father would be proud of her after he encouraged her to leave her abusive marriage. Mel, who is a patron of the charity Women's Aid, said, I'm standing up for something I truly believe in, that I've experienced myself, so to be awarded for that. I'm really proud of it. If I can shed light on it and help in any way, I'm not going to stop. Dedicating the award to victims of domestic abuse, Mel added, but it's not about what I've done, I'm the voice for all those other women, and men, that have ever suffered an abusive relationship. This is for all them lot that don't have the platform that I have to speak up about it. She continued, when I was speaking about it way back in 2017, it was something people didn't talk about, it was considered icky and taboo and dark and shameful. When I brought my book out there was only one publisher willing to publish it. That's how undercover it was. It was like the taboo, dirty topic to talk about. Now we can talk about it and it's a huge epidemic, we need to get behind and support charities like Women's Aid. Telling Steph about receiving the letter informing her about the MBE, Melby said, 
the letter arrived at mom's house in chauffeur driven car. My mom calls me and goes Teresa letter here from your majesty, what have you done? I rushed home and my hands were shaking. My went open it open it, oh my god you're in trouble. I opened it up and I had to read it again and again because it wasn't sinking in. It was really overwhelming, it wasn't anything to do with being a spice girl. It was all to do with my shedding the light on the taboo topic, domestic violence. Just to be acknowledged and awarded for that, to be able to be a voice and help women through traumatic experiences, and men too. It's a lot.